Hey, I just wanted to jump on and talk real quick about what to do after you get injured. So immediately after you get injured, you should rest um, because the rest is going to help the discomfort decrease. It's going to help the recovery process start. However, after that brief rest period, and I'd advocate for maybe about at least 24 hours, you don't want to hammer too much within 24 hours after an injury. You want to give it a little time to recoup, um, but no more than about three days, you actually want to start loading it. Most people think, especially with, a, so I'm talking specifically about a muscle strain. I've had a couple conversations lately with people who have strained a muscle or even a partial tear or a full tear, and they're like, okay, I'm injured. I need to rest. And I need to keep resting that, and that'll help it get better. However, if you just rest it, it doesn't magically get better. In fact, it usually stays about the same or it gets worse because you keep flaring things off because really all you're doing is losing muscle strength. What you want to do, like say you're running, you strain your calf, or you're lifting, you strain your hamstring. What you want to do is you want to gradually load that injured site up after a brief period of rest. Again, like one to three days in the beginning kind of bringing your symptoms down under control a little bit. And the guidelines with loading uh, a muscle strain after injuring it are, I look at it a couple different ways. Mild to moderate discomfort is usually okay during the loading period, after the loading period, so like immediately after and within 24 24 hours after you load it. If you have anything more than moderate discomfort, that's too much and you're pushing too quickly and you need to take a step back. So this means that say you tear your calf partially while you're running. You give it a break for one to three days, kind of let the symptoms come down, get to the point where you're walking maybe with a slight limp or no limp at all. At that point, it would be a good idea to start doing heel raises. You can start with two legs. You, If one leg is irritable, which I would guess it probably would be, um, and then you do that a little bit, get some load in it, to the point where it feels tired, you worked it, but you're not hurting yourself. A little bit of discomfort is okay. It's not gonna hurt the the injured tissue. It's not gonna make it take longer to get better. It may help it. Um, So some discomfort is okay. You don't want pain though. If you do have pain, you're pushing too hard and too fast. One of the most frequent injuries I see is people who don't push hard enough or people who push too hard. And so finding that sweet spot in the middle where you have mild to moderate discomfort or Usually if you have no discomfort, you're not pushing quite as hard as you could. So like a, maybe a mild discomfort afterwards. Um, one caveat I do want to point out though, is say you do, you've torn your calf or you've strained your calf, you do some heel raises. The next day you wake up and oh my gosh, you can't walk. It just hurts really, really bad. You're limping all over the place. You did too much. That is above moderate discomfort. And next I would do some kind of maybe like light walking or just maybe a row or a bike to flush out some of that, get some massage, maybe some dry needling, and then go back at it after a day or two when the symptoms come down and then start loading it, but start at a lower dosage. Don't start as high or as intense. So yeah, long story short, too much activity after an injury is not good and not enough activity after an injury is not good. And there, there's there's a spectrum and you got to find that gray area in the middle. And finding that gray area can sometimes be really difficult. So if you've strained a muscle and you're struggling to find that gray area, reach out, contact me. I've strained my own muscles. I've experimented finding the gray area in the middle. I've done too much. I've done too little. And I've helped a lot of people get through that as well. So if that sounds like you, if that sounds like something you're experiencing, please reach out. I'd love to help you get back to doing what you love to do. And have a great weekend.